thank you guys all for coming. On behalf of me and Jonathan and everyone at Coronero, I really appreciate you all. Uh, I want to start off by thanking my family for coming, our friends and all of our colleagues. Uh, I wanted to give a special shout out to my wife, Rebecca. for the last year, waking up at odd hours when it's dark out, uh, texting late hours with uh, colleagues to get stuff done, so I appreciate you. But uh, tonight is really about the Quilinero family. A round of applause to all of you right now. I want to start off by thanking you for all the sacrifices that you guys have done the last year. Uh, late hours, some of you slept in the office. I've seen people uh, oppose motions for summary judgments in Bellagio lobbies. Uh, working overtime, everything, hitting goals that I couldn't even imagine. So thank you for all the sacrifices that you've done. More importantly, the most meaningful thing that I've ever seen from you guys is all the teamwork that I've seen. I've seen people help each other out, when there's deadlines. I've seen people stay late to help other people make sure things get done. I've seen people at the end of the month when there's goals to be met, helping each other, making sure their goals are met. So I really appreciate the teamwork that everyone's done here. More importantly, the leadership by everybody. People who've been working here for a week, a month, a year. Everyone acts like a leader at Cool and Arrow, and I really, really appreciate that. It's obvious that everyone's trying to help each other. Some of the things that I sell people here when they're interviewing here is you'll always be put in a position where you have leadership and mentorship and I really thank all of you guys for that. Um, the biggest, biggest thing that I've, I've seen here is last year we're about 39 employees. Now we're about 86 employees. We've doubled <laughs> The goal is to double that up again because we all need it. We all need the help. And what I promise you guys is to continue to provide support. Staffing, competent people that can help all of us together do what we want to do. Is to get our clients the best results that we can. That's what we're all here for. We're at a holiday party in a nice area with nice clothes doing our things. But the things that really matter is our clients to get them compensated to do what we need to do. And I really appreciate all of you guys, honestly, for all the hard work that you do. I want to also give a special shout out to not only the Culinero family, but the CF family, Greg and Doug. Not only are Greg and Doug, act like mentors to us, so I are mean, they you still younger? I don't know how, but I appreciate you guys. Greg, where you at? Doug! <laughs> uh, I want to give a shout out to Mr. Brian Altman and West Point. Growing a huge, amazing trial team taking over the world, bringing in good people together to groom some of the best lawyers. So I'm looking forward to 2023. Uh, Sam Sartipi at CPLG, Lone Soldier here, Shoot from Arizona. I appreciate you. Uh, special thanks to Jonathan Sheeran, my best friend and partner. He's Whatever you like about the party, thank him. Whatever you hate about the party, Talk shit to him about it. I ain't try issues on Monday morning, please. Uh, but, you know, I, I really appreciate everything that you guys have done. It's been uh, an amazing year. It's, it's unbelievable to see it. You know, some of us who have been here, when we started, it was like five of us, then 10 of us, 15 of us. Last year, we were literally 39 people. Now we're about 80, and, you know, God knows, might be 300 one day, but... Oh. At the end of the day, I don't care if I'm a thousand people, 500 people, I appreciate every single one of you. Uh, and Arrow wouldn't be where it'd be without all of you guys, so thank you guys all. This is for you guys.
So listen, I'm not a sneeze peasant, so I got this shit on. I got this stuff on my phone, all right? First and foremost, I just want to say that every workplace needs, you know, needs someone who's in, you know, who stands out and who's an inspiration for everyone. So I just want to say you're welcome. <laughs> no, but but seriously, you know, I want to, you know, I wrote some stuff down, but I want to speak from the heart. I remember when Kevin came up with the name Quilinero. You know, the first thing I said to him is, that's a sick name. But, yo, Kevin, what does a quill mean? <laughs> Followed by, how do you spell quill? <laughs> you know, I thought it was a really sick name, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but I was like, are people gonna get it, right? And I didn't understand that like, you know, now and then people ask us, hey, who's the quill, who's the arrow? And I can't really answer that, because the reason I can't answer that is because Quill and Arrow and who they are and what they are is everyone in this room, right? So I, you guys have to understand that we wouldn't be here where we are if it wasn't for everyone in this room, literally. I want to, I want you guys to give a clap, you know, just give a clap for yourself because at the end of the day we have the most loyal, hardworking people and it, it takes a lot to grow a firm and it, it's not just Kevin and I, right? A lot of the times, as bosses and, and running a business, right? Running a business and in life, it's all a risk, right? But Kevin and I always think we're, that, we're the ones taking the risk, right? Because we're hiring you guys. But at the end of the day, you guys are also taking the risk, right? Because you're taking the risk on us providing for you, for your families, and trusting two young guys to lead the way. So really, it's, it's both, it's, we're both taking a risk in each other. And, you know, they say if you want to get somewhere fast, go alone. If you want to go somewhere far, go together. Oh, I'll tell you right now, I wouldn't go with any fucking group other than the people in this room. <laughs> if I'm going to be on a, a long journey with everyone, I, I wouldn't be with anyone other than this group. And listen, I'm going to end it off this note. There was a Kobe interview, 2009, post-game. He was up 2-0. He wasn't smiling. They said, why aren't you smiling? Simple. He said, job not finished. Job's not finished. So let me tell you, we just finished our second year. We're about to go to our third. It's going to be our best year yet. Let me tell you guys. Top and finish. Top and So let me tell you guys, happy new year. Merry Christmas. And God willing, next year is our best year yet. I love all you guys. Thank you. Kevin, it's gonna be okay, I promise. So, I'm, uh, I'm here just to, uh, you know, Kevin and Johnny were giving thanks to everybody else here, but I think them two also deserve a big round of applause. <laughs> to, to Kevin, who's become my brother-in-law, and Johnny, the guy who provided me his house to take my LSAT. I wanted to just say that you guys are a big inspiration to look up to. Um, I hope in a few years to have accomplished half as much as what you guys have done up till now. I was talking to Johnny the other day when I was in the break of my LSAT and he was telling me everything that was going on and the work that you two put in. So. It's a real inspiration to look at you two, and I, I just hope to be there all the way, and I hope to... <laughs> Johnny, it's okay, I swear. I just really look up to you two, really. I really do, and um, I just, I just want to be like you two when I'm older.
Greg, you gonna claim your prizes at the office? Okay, another hundred dollar Visa gift card. Diana Shoshova.